Hello, gentlemen. Patrick Ryan here, founder of Wingman for You. We help men find the woman of their dreams by teaching them how to approach women with confidence. Now, guys, this is going to be a very interesting video in that somewhat is about regret, but it's mainly about life's challenges and who we are today and who we want to be tomorrow. Here's what I mean. I've got a very good friend of mine, and she, amongst other things, she has many jobs, but one of the jobs she does that she absolutely adores, she loves, is connecting with people who are on their deathbed. Yes, you heard me right. They're in the hospital. She comes in, she sits with them, she talks to them, she connects with them emotionally, physically, just to get to understand what they're all about. And she does ask those heavy questions like, what do you regret? What do you regret doing? And what do you regret not doing? And I've known her for some time. And 90% of the time, she tells me, Patrick, she says, these people, some of them are wealthy. Some of them are poor, beyond poor. And she says, every one of them, nearly every time, they say they regret not spending more time with the people that they love. And last week, I was speaking to her and she had said that just a few days prior to, she was talking to a man who was really in his last throes of life, maybe the last few hours. And there was nobody there to visit him. And she was wondering, she says, where's your family? And she said, he says, I don't know. He was very weak. And she said that he didn't speak a lot, but she asked him, well, why don't, why isn't your family here with you? And he says, honey, I, I have a family, but I don't know where they are. I don't keep track of them because I was so busy working. And in fact, my business is going to fail now that I'm dying. And while there are some leaders there that can take over the business, I was so focused on my work, so focused on making money. And I finally realized it here with maybe a few days to live that whether I have a lot of money or not, that doesn't mean anything because I've lost my family. Now, guys, I can never imagine being in that situation. However, it could happen. For me, I was with my dad on the very last maybe 45 minutes of his life. And it was an amazing experience, a moving, emotional experience, but something I would never, ever give up. For us guys, though, we instead of just focusing on work and making money and building a career, building a business and, and having a tremendous amount of possessions, we need to make sure that we connect with the people we care about or that care about us before we sit talking to my friend about their regret. Guys, I know this is a challenging subject, but I wanna say it, I wanna say it out loud because there are so many men she tells me that a majority of the people that are on their deathbed that regret not spending time with their loved ones are men. She says, very rarely is it a woman. And guys, maybe we don't have our priorities straight. So gentlemen, I really hope that this has helped you in your life. I hope this has helped you understand that having regrets on our last days of living is not, is not a good place to be. Thanks for listening in, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.